So you see that. But my friends, what can we do if, you, if we can't conquer people's love, if we can't make them happy? What can we, we do? Well, the first thing I want to tell you is don't take things personally. Put yourself in people's place. And imagine that you had the same sequence of genes or chromosomes. And if you had the same parents as that person had, if you had had the same teachers, if you have lived in the same place, in the same neighborhood, in the same country, and if you had gone to the same church, if you had, in other words, lived the same life, and if you were a clone of, of the other person, what would happen to you? You might be like the other person. So my friends, sometimes I, I look back to three years ago, I was full of anger. And I was depressed. And I, uh, I hold grudges in my heart. I was so unhappy. And then I started reading books. And I started knowing myself. And I started overcoming my feelings. And now I am a happy person. It's wonderful. But I can look back to the way I lived, to the way I was, to the way I felt. And I, have, I can have compassion towards those who don't love me, those who want to hold to a grudge, those who don't want to let go of what happened, those who are suffering, who are making themselves, themselves suffer because of their anger. I can have compassion. I can even pity them. Because see what happens is that when you victimize yourself, when you hold grudges, you pity yourself. And this is the worst thing you can do. When you pity yourself, you are going to be angry at people who you think are making you unhappy. But the best thing is to pity them. To pity them for making their own lives very hard and very sad. Because they are choosing to do that. They are hurting themselves and they are thinking that you are the problem. And they can't open their eyes that see that they are the problem. And Another thing you can do to overcome the problem is exactly what we have read. It says in the Bible text that we should bless those who curse us. So, maybe somebody criticizes you. And you think about criticizing back. You say, you know that person? Yeah, he does it, he does that, he's this, he's that. Look at him. Look at what he does. But what I have found out is that it's a lot of fun to bless those who criticize us. We think that we're going to have fun if we make their lives very hard and we make them suffer and we make everyone think that they are really evil. No. The fun thing is if you bless them, if you say good things about them, you're going to neutralize what they do. Because people will look to you and look to him. And you'll see the difference. You bless him while he curses you. And sometimes we think we can't stand someone who doesn't like us. For example, let's say that someone here in this church doesn't like me. And I think, how can I go to church? How can I pass by that person? How can I look at them, greet them, 
Oh, it bothers me. Oh, I don't feel comfortable being there at church because that person doesn't like me. That's really bad. I can't go to... I don't feel well at my work because someone doesn't like me. And I went to a church last year and I was doing a program. At the end of the program, a woman came to me, a young woman came to me and told Pastor, how can I leave? How can I work on my, at my job? I need that job, but someone mistreats me all the time. And I come every day crying. I can't stand that. You know what I said to her? Ignore. <laughs> but how can I ignore? How can I? Come. Huh. I'm going to give you an example. It seems totally opposite of, of, of what I'm saying to you. It's about other things. It's about sleeping. I learned to ignore anything that would uh, be against my sleep. And it's interesting that 20 years ago I had to take like four or five medicines to sleep. And I thought about, uh, I had a problem with sleeping. And I need people to be quiet. I need the, the, the lights to be off. I need complete silence. I even bought a curtain that was so thick that I couldn't see the sun outside. That would make really dark. But my friends, I found out that I can't sleep if I ignore everything else and I just focus on my sleeping. And I have really gotten very far with this. I was able sometimes to sleep in front of a band. <laughs> like this. But this, like this distance, I had a table here and I just did this and I slept there. And now in my home, I'm doing even further experiences. <laughs> so, I live really in front of a, uh, uh, like a road, uh, um, an avenue, and it's really full of cars the whole night. Then I open the windows. Oh, yeah. And my wife is watching television, and I leave the room open. And the cat comes to, to the bed and it sleeps in my feet. <laughs> and I also let the, the lights on. I can't sleep anyway because I ignore everything else. I just focus on my sleeping. If someone doesn't like you, ignore them. I don't say that you ignore the person, but ignore the feelings. What a person do, does against you. Don't think, oh, you remember what happened? Yeah. Did you see how she looked at me? And did you see how her she frowned? And did you see what she said? And she did this and did that. And plus this and plus that. And I don't like her. Yeah, I don't like her. You know, just ignore. Don't think about that. Why are you going to make yourself suffer remembering, thinking about that all the time? You know, the person may do something against you and that's her problem, it's not your problem. Okay. You can't control her. You can't go there and make her smile and say something good to you. But there is something you can do. You can stop thinking about that. <laughs>